The state's largest city faces a lawsuit for a crime spike in the middle of calls to replace the police department. Two separate shootings just this morning pushed the number of killings in Minneapolis to 49. That is one more death than in all of last year. WCCO's Reg Chapman explains how worried residents are fighting City Hall and court. Every single night on any block in this neighborhood, you can hear gunshots every single freaking night. A crime wave has hit the streets of Minneapolis, and people who call a north side home say it has had a negative effect on their neighborhoods. We are a community that is written with crime, and we are under siege. Minneapolis is 20 homicides ahead of where it was this time last year. We knew that this was going to be a disaster when we heard the unconsulted announcement made. Northsiders believe the city council's plan to defund Minneapolis police is the root cause of the spike in crime. But you cannot disband and, and dismantle a police department and leave communities such as this, where we are, we face the worst disparities in the nation. You cannot leave us with, with nothing. Kathy Spann is one of eight Northside residents to file a lawsuit against Minneapolis, claiming city council has made Minneapolis a more dangerous place to live, especially for people who live in higher crime areas. The lawsuit says that you are in violation of the charter by you defunding the police department you have gone below per capita the number of police office officers that are required according to the law and the charter is the law of the city of Minneapolis like our constitution the lawsuit says the number of officers per capita required in the city charter is 743 it claims talks of defunding is causing officers to retire quit take medical leave and make disability claims in unprecedented numbers without replacement. We don't need any more problems. We certainly don't need them from our leaders. We got enough problems. What we need from our leaders is support, wisdom, maturity, and consultation with us about decisions that affect us. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. The lawsuit aims to force the city council and mayor to take action to secure citizen safety. The city's attorney's office says it is reviewing the lawsuit.